we now have body cams on all our police that took years and years. And, uh, you know, and that's an issue that's very near and dear to my heart because, you know, I was arrested in 2010 for filming police officers during a late night traffic stop. I got, you know, arrested. They charged me with wiretapping. I ended up, uh, they dropped the charges. Um, and I was like, well, you made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> arresting me and now you're gonna pay <laughs> and uh and i sued them 37 counts of violations of my civil rights it took four years went all the way to the first circuit prevailed it is a landmark case it's frequently cited and that wow. case basically says you can film police officers in the execution of their public duties uh don't interfere so like don't jump in the middle and uh, they do not have qualified immunity. And that is a really big deal on these cases because we do know that given sort of what we've seen over the past maybe 10 years, really culminating in all the violence and the you know, bad stuff that was happening nationwide with the protests, I'm like, I'm all for the protests, but I'm not for the destruction of private property. So, you know, right. you got to find that balance between your anger, legitimate anger and a desire for reform and, uh, you know, and lawlessness and just doing what you want.